Hey guys, what's going on? It's Delconic here, and today I got a quick news update for you. We have a new V-Jump scan in, as you can see on the screw screen. You have a Bulma over here, the one from Dragon Ball, and we also see a Vegeta and a Yamcha. First off, shout out to Axari and One for the actual scan, and Colossus and Z for the actual translations for what's going on. We have a Tech SSR Bulma over here. Apparently we're going to grab her from a login bonus. Her actual title is Crossroad of Destiny. She's going to token wake into a Tech Transcendent Ultra Rare Bulma, a feeling of love. She's going to get her own special potential orbs in order to get powered up. Uh, this is going to come along with a Japan versus global version of Dokkan Battle. battle. Um, essentially, you have to run a uh, run one level multiple times, and I'm assuming, it's just a, a guess, that it's going to be the level where you get her special potential orbs. You have to run in a certain amount of times, and the version, global or JP, the one that gets the most runs total, is going to get the STR SSR Vegeta Lone Warrior as a gift, and the loser is going to get a Strength SSR Yamcha Easy Going Warrior. Now, we have no idea what these cards do or anything, but we just know that's going to happen. Competition dates are going to come out on July 28th and run until July 31st, so you have three days to run this event. We don't know if it's going to go on past there. It probably is going to go past there in terms of the event itself, but the actual competition is going to run for those three days. We also have a comeback campaign. This is going to be the same thing that we did a while back. Uh, we need to get as many tweets out as possible so we can get this agility SSR Spirit Bomb Goku. And there's going to be special medals if you reach the goal. He's also going to get a Dokkan Awakening. One other thing that's really cool that's actually mentioned in this post is we are getting 200 million download tickets. So remember that ticket banner we had a while back with the God Banner? Uh, essentially, for every 50 stone spent in-game, no matter what it was spent on, for every 50 stone spent in-game, you get one summon ticket. And that summon ticket, theoretically, is going to be able to summon on a god banner. Now, we don't know what's going to come in the future. What we did in the past was, every set was uh, I believe, uh, a majority of the 70% leads. I believe we were missing one or two of them. Uh, but you can go in and you can summon on them, and you have a chance of getting a whole bunch of different leads. Pretty sick. It does. It, this might mark something going on in JP about a change in meta coming in the future. Who knows? We don't know yet. Uh, but that's going to be happening. Uh, it's going to be a collective from October 19th of 2016 until July 21st of 2017 in terms of the stone spent. So as global players, keep your fingers crossed that we get this. We should get it. I don't see why we wouldn't. But keep your fingers crossed that we get this. Uh, one other thing is uh, the login bonus that you get from logging in when Dragon Ball Super is on, on the JP side. Uh, they extended the hours now. It looks like it's going to be 6 a.m. until 12 p.m. for Japan, which I believe translates to 5 p.m. Eastern Time to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So we have now a five-hour uh, login, well, five-hour period where we get the login bonus. And the one thing that I did notice here, it says from 7.13, which was yesterday, that's the start date of when they're doing it, until March 18th. Now, I'm assuming March 18th of 2018. But it says until March 18th, guys. So does that mean that Dragon Ball Super is going to end on the 18th? I don't think so, because I believe it actually says it actually has to do with the Tournament of Power during the Tournament of Power opening memorial commemoration period. Um, so I don't know if it's specifically with Tournament of Power, but does that mean we're going to either have this Tournament of Power run until March, which would be phenomenal? Maybe the arc runs till March? I don't know what this actually means. It just says that that's the login time. It could just be that that's what they are doing up until March you know, a Bandai Namco. But that's interesting. That's an interesting date. We're going to have to find out and see what happens. We're going to have to see if there's any news that comes out from that. But that's all the JP information, and I just want to go over. Um, first off, I would want to state in the video that I have coming out at 7 p.m., I stated some numbers in terms of the Kaioken Super, the Super Kaioken Goku. My math was off. My math was wrong on those numbers. I did a wrong multiplier with the 12 key and the Super Attack multipliers. Uh, so ignore that. I'm going to put a little pinned post on that as well, just in case when that comes out. Um, also, I just want to go over real quick on the global side second anniversary tournament information. I didn't go over it before. We got a total of 9 gold SSR tickets, 12 silver SSR tickets, 37 dragon stones, and 3 elder kais. That's a total of all the rewards. Local rewards, same as typical. Two piccolos for first place, 80 time master marks. If second place to fourth place in local is one piccolo and 80 master marks. Uh, win rewards is all of those uh, Elder Kai's and the summon tickets that I just talked to you about. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't give us a listing of all the Dragon Ball. It looks like we have a whole bunch of Dragon Ball uh, summon tickets that we get over here. We get the basic tier rewards, Dragon Stone, Hercule statues, and everything like that. So that's going to be good. That's going to be coming out. Uh, when the when the world tournament comes out, I'm gonna say this too: world tournament. If you don't don't try to grind in first place, if you don't like the grind, but at least try to get the actual rewards for it. It's kind of worth it, especially if you um you know I know you guys don't like to actually put stones into stamina regeneration if you're free to play, 
but it might be worth it considering the rewards you're going to get. Uh, when you get up to 10 million points, you get Mysterious Elder, uh, Mysterious Ritual Elder Kai, and you get 50 of each, well, essentially you get each type, uh, each attribute type of orbs. You get 999 small orbs of every type, you get 700 medium orbs of every type, and 50 of large orbs of every type when you get up to 9 million points. Now, that spans from 6,200,000 points up to 9 million, but, you know, it's kind of worth it if you need the orbs. And then you also have basic streak rewards, where when you get up to 20 rewards, you get uh, 3 guaranteed SSR tickets. So, uh, don't go onto the 20 time multiplier right off the bat. My recommendation for you, especially if you're not running an LR Broly team, just to get the 20 times in a row on the lower levels, the ones that you know you're going to be able to complete without a problem. Run those to get the 20 time bonus, and then and and then try and go for the higher the higher tier once we get more points. But well, that's it, guys. That was a quick news update. I just wanted to break out to you. Thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.